My pony needs to be fed soon. Should I take some? I will take just a couple. My pony should be fed. Do I just take some? My pony needs to be fed. go. You're still hungry, aren't you? Here. Must I be so nervous? I trust Francis. He knows about these things. How can I help you? I have come to see the bishop. Who may I tell the bishop? is visiting. I am Philip of Gwyneth. <coughs> and what may I tell Bishop Whalerin is the reason for your visit? The bishop insists that I ask. I carry a letter that proves there will be a war. A war? Yes, but the bishop may be able to stop it. It is urgent, then. I will let the bishop know that you are here. Please, uh, wait here a short while. For the glory of God, I suppose. The Lord will give me strength to help my church today. Go thy way, eat thy bread with joy, and drink thy wine with a merry heart, for God now accepteth thy works. The bishop will see you now. Philip of Gwyneth. The right reverend Bishop Whaler in by God. Please, sit down. <coughs> Thank you, right reverend.
please, call me Waleran. I hear you've done good work at that little cell in the forest. I'm surprised you know about it. <coughs> As bishop, I am the ex officio abbot of Kingsbridge. So, <laughs> I am bound to take an interest. Well, God has blessed us in St. John. I wish God would confer similar blessings on Kingsbridge Priory. Timothy said you were talking about a... a war. I expect you know that Stephen of Blois has claimed the throne of England. <coughs> With the blessing of the church. Already? I had heard of plans and of aspirations. This is very good. I have met Stephen. As bishop, I am much involved in politics. Of course, the church can never be involved enough. Mm. Now, how do you know of this? Ah, your brother Francis is working for Earl Robert of Gloucester, is he not? Did he tell you? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, Francis mentioned this to me. He is indeed working for the Earl of Gloucester. You mentioned a war. Tell me, Philip, why are you here? Oh. Was I wrong to come to you, my bishop? Maybe I should have taken the letter to the Sheriff of Shiring. Eustace is ungodly, arrogant, grasping and corrupt. So are all sheriffs. Philip, how did you get this letter? I found it among Prior James's documents in Kingsbridge. I am staying there for a few days. Prior James. May he rest in peace. Did he not order everything to be burned? You know about this? Sub-Prior Remigius mentioned it once. I asked them not to burn James's books. The brothers agreed. Well, and there you found the letter? Yes. Timothy, leave us. And did you find anything else? No, just the letter. The messenger carrying it had an accident and died near Kingsbridge. My brother Francis heard he disappeared there. It was his idea to look for the letter. He wants to protect the king and our church even if that means going against his own master. Robert of Gloucester. I see. A war would cost so, so many lives. God thunders wondrously with his voice. He does great things that we cannot comprehend. The Book of Job. But this is not the work of God. But of Earl Bartholomew. You and your brother have done the right thing. I will call on friends of mine. Pray for us that we can put an end to Bartholomew's plan before it is too late. You did a brave thing for our church, Brother Philip. A brave thing indeed. <sighs> You'll go back to Kingsbridge Priory now and forget about the Sheriff, won't you? I will. And, uh, don't speak of this to anyone there. I shan't.
Time to leave, old friend. Did you pack enough food? It will be a while before you get to eat smoked venison again. Yeah, yeah. I took some. Anyone seen Martha? She said she had to piss. All right. I'll uh, go get her. You're a mason too, right? Uh-huh. So, what have you built so far? I'm sure Jack would love to hear about your work. Houses. They're looking for you. I don't want to leave. It's so dangerous out there. I don't want to get robbed again. I've got a slingshot. <laughs> Maybe you could teach me how to use it. I will. Papa usually protects me, but he can't always be around. He needs to take care of himself too. You need to learn to defend yourself. I want to, but I'm still so small. And I want to stay here where it's safe. This knight is Charles the Great. He will protect you. Oh. Am I his princess? You are. Together, you are brave and smart, and will never give up. <laughs> All right. I have to stay steadfast. Thank you, Jack. Martha! Where are you? Come on. We're going on a great quest. On our way, I told Martha the names of my trees. There was the birch, Jerusalem, and the oaks, Alexandria and Byzantium. When I pointed out Rome, she laughed and named an apple tree Southampton. The farther we walked, the merrier she became, christening all the new trees Winchester, Bath, Salisbury, while I grew quieter and quieter. Finally, we arrived at a large road. This heads towards Shiring, Tom said. The strangest name of them all. By noon, we had reached the edge of town. Mother gave us some dry prunes to chew while she argued with Tom whether we should head directly to town or past the palace of the so-called bishop. Tom was hopeful to find work at the palace, but Mother seemed uneasy. As we approached the building, Tom noticed the cold in Mother's eyes. Though she had agreed to accompany him to the bishop, she had remained quiet about her true feelings, while Tom didn't see it fit to ask. Gradually, the palace came into view. Shiring was full of people looking for work. 
Mother and Tom kept asking around while we rested our feet at the market. Alfred gave me a look as if he wanted to punch me, but I only stared at the buildings amazed by the straightness of their walls. Finally, Mother called us over. Rumor had it that the Earl of Shiring was hiring all kinds of people. It was then that I heard a man in a robe say, That voice, it's her. The witch, she was here ten years ago. But apart from me, no one took notice. You don't know me. You're misjudging whatever it is I did. I'm willing to forgive your mistake if you accept my offer now. This is all about family honor to you, isn't it? Perhaps I should tell you about my mother. She was a happy person who loved to laugh and tell stories. But father made her miserable. Oh, he's not a bad man, but solemn and strict. She hated him so much she died from it. Are you saying you don't like me? You're so self-centered. You never think about anyone else's feelings. You have no refinement and you can barely read. What were you expecting? One day you will see that you are wrong. And then I won't be so forgiving. All right. Let's hope it's true and the Earl needs us. Yeah, I'm starving. Alfred, keep an eye out. I'll be right back. And boys, try to get along. An eye out for what? Papa wants him to look for things that are broken. Some people don't know they need a mason until you show them. Papa could fix their walls or build a house. One man can build an entire house? <laughs> I want to see. Learn what you can, but don't stray too far. Ugh. Why won't anyone just give me something to eat? Hey, boy, come here. Say, what do you think about Tom? He's nice. Well, let me tell you something. He may seem nice, but he really doesn't care about anyone but himself. Whatever you do, he doesn't care. He'll just drag you into his own misery. So take my advice. If you and your mother want to stay, you better learn to shut up and put yourself second. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Alfred thinks Tom doesn't listen to anyone. He should tell him then. But how can he, if Tom won't listen? Well... If Alfred is angry at his father, he must make him listen. That little rat. If you keep your feelings secret, Alfred, nothing will change. <laughs> Alfred doesn't like your father. What? Oh, maybe if Papa knew that, he could do something about it. He doesn't talk to Alfred that much. Hello, 
Jack. Have you ever been to a castle before? No. Castles are very safe places. People don't rob you so fast. Hmm. Mother told me stories about castles, about knights and princesses. Oh, like what? Like the one about Tristan and Isolde. They drank a potion and had to love each other for three years. I know that one. Jack, do you think there's a princess in this castle? It would be so nice to see a real princess one day. Watch. How do you do that? Like this. That's nothing fancy. Anyone can do that. Well, I could watch Jack all day. Suit yourself. Another one. And another one. Nice. Nice. 